Hi, my name is Audrey. I'm going to do my educational thinker presentation on Thomas Jefferson. So let me tell you a little bit about him. Um, Thomas Jefferson, he's a pretty common household name. We all know what he did for us as a founding country. Um, he was born on April 13th, 1743 in Virginia. Both his parents were from Virginia. Um, he was the primary draftsman for the Declaration of Independence, which I think, you know, that's one of the more common things we know about him. Um, he was obsessed with educational reformation and thought it was of the utmost importance. He was a self-learner. He loved to learn. He spent all his time studying, learning violin, and so on and so forth. All the things I'm reading saying that you could always find him in a book. Um, he founded the University of Virginia. He actually attended the University of William and Mary for two years. And although he was always adamant about education, he was most active between 1765 and 1785. Now, before Jefferson's reformations kind of really took off, there were two basic forms of education, for lack of a better term, and that was for education for the rich and education for the poor. Now, they both looked completely different. Education for the rich entitled a private setting. Uh, they learned different languages. They learned the arts. They learned histories. They learned sciences, astrology. You name it, they learned it. Uh, while the poor, if they were lucky, they were taught by their mother how to read and write. And I say if they were lucky because not everyone back then really knew how to read and write. It wasn't like it was today, which I think is something to remember. Um, this bothered Jefferson because it was very selective on who got to do better in their life. Um, the kids who could not receive an education other than learning to read or to write didn't have many opportunities to better themselves, and that kind of really rubbed Jefferson the wrong way. Um, he also thought that educated, the educating the masses is what would make our country thrive as it was so new, and even at the time of 1765 when he started this, our country wasn't even a country yet, it was just in the makings. So he kind of knew that people needed to be educated and aware in order for our country to survive. Some of the subjects that Jefferson liked to focus on were reading and literature, writing, mathematics, history, both ancient and modern, geography, ethics and philosophy, rhetoric, political science, and foreign languages, both ancient and modern. So you can see that he just liked a whole mess of things. Um, he wanted the curriculum to shadow the Roman and the Greeks, and he tried to get... Jefferson drafted over 100 bills, but two of them specifically were towards education. And in 1779, he served a bill that was called the Bill for More General Diffusion of Knowledge. And this is kind of where he really wanted to start um, public education. And in a letter dated 1786, he wrote, I think by far the most important bill in our whole code is that for the diffusion of knowledge among people, no other sure foundation can be devised for the preservation of freedom and happiness. So that's kind of where he was going with this whole everyone needs to be educated. So then in 1817, this bill, the Bill of General Diffusion of Knowledge, failed. So in 1817, he made another bill called the Bill for Establishing a System of Public, edu public Education, and this had three tiers. It had an elementary school in every county. That way, each, every household was within three miles of a school. That way, no excuses. You can get your butt to school. Uh, district colleges, which should only be a day's ride from where fathers dropped off their sons. And... Three, a university in a healthy and central situation where the top students from district colleges could study more. And I also think it's important to note that Jefferson was a fan of education for both boys and girls, except he doesn't really talk about girls going to school in two and three, just more elementary basic knowledge for boys and girls. Um, each school should include reading, writing, and comic arithmetic. That's just necessary. And it will also study Gratian... Grecian, Roman, English, and American history. He believed, like I said, he believed that informed citizens were the core to sustain the new democratic republic. So both these bills failed, but I think it set the standard for what was to come. So even though not all of Jefferson's ideas went into practice immediately, he still managed to influence the United States education system with what we've got going on today. Um, we can see where his three-tier policy comes into place because we kind of have that going on. We have elementary into high school, which that could be considered tier one of your basic education. Then you have your undergraduate degrees where you get your bachelor's, so you kind of do that for your college of advanced study. 
and then you can go on to get phase three, which would be your undergraduate degree. So I think Jefferson really did have an impact on what we needed to do in order to get educated. And that is my educational thinker presentation on Thomas Jefferson. Thank you, guys.